think you should yeah. oh, God. Alrighty guys, starting this tips and trick video off. Um, tip number one, learn your character. The better you know the combos, you know, go through the tutorials and everything. Once you get out and know your character, you'll be able to set a standard on how you fight. Once you do that, you can change that up depending on who you are fighting. Because every character fights differently and you need to approach each situation in a different manner. Moving into tip number two. Always apply your bleed damage. A lot of people don't know this, but when you are applying that bleed damage, they actually take extra damage for everything else that you do. Nobushi offers a range of moves and combos that allow you to put this bleed damage on your opponent without really trying. Uh, whether it's retreating, whether it's the first approach in a battle. But moving into tip number three, when you're separating that distance, you know, you're, you're backstepping, be sure to light attack immediately after. If they try to close that gap, you're going to push them back and apply a bleed damage. It is too strong not to use and it can let their guard down and let you move in to finish a fight or give you the upper hand again. Tip number four. Alright, I cannot stress this one enough. Mix up your combos. Do not go and use the same combos over and over again. Your opponent is soon going to pick that up and he's going to know how to defeat you. It's really not that hard. If you don't know your combos, like I said before, go into tutorial, play against some bots, you know, get good at that character. Don't be afraid to change it up and don't be afraid to try something that you haven't thought of yet because sometimes the best moves are the ones that they are least expecting. With tip number five, this is something I found out with being outnumbered that really changes the role. Nabushi has a really effective AoE effect and if you're outnumbered, you know, you're, you're blocking. Just go into straight defensive mode, block everything you can. Once you get revenge mode, you have unlimited stamina. The AoE move, where you attack both light attack and heavy attack at the same time, by the time you do this, everyone is going to be out of stamina from spamming their heavy attacks on you. You do this, it's going to knock everyone who is out of stamina down and put you back on top of the fight. Um, I have won countless 1v3s and 1v4s by using this tactic and it is very very effective not only does it knock them down but it also applies that bleed damage to one more target that when you open up with DPS again you'll be able to finish that target off and hopefully come out alrighty guys for my sixth and final tip of the day learn hidden stance learn how to use it learn when to use it and when not to use it it is such a game changer and not enough people use it or I don't really think people know how to use it but from Hidden Stance, not only can you change the title of fight, but you can chain two light attacks applying that bleed damage. Also, from Hidden Stance, if you uh, guard break, right then and there, you'll immediately go into a kick and separate that distance, allowing you to chain some more combos, do whatever you need to do to come out on top. Alright guys, moving into how to defeat Nobushi. One, stay close. If you stay in her face, she's not gonna have that distance and she can't jab and poke you every time you try to get close the approach whenever you start a fight with Nobushi as your opponent nine times out of ten she's gonna open up with venom strike so she's gonna run at you and she's gonna light attack all you have to do is block up it is very very simple to defeat and it it could start you out on a good note but if she lands it you're gonna be in a bad position three dodge the kick do not try to block it, it's not going to happen. Just simply dodge left, right, or back step. You know, it, it's not hard and is very easily counterable. If she lands that kick, then she's going to be able to continue to combo on you, and it could be a very bad day for you. When you have bleed damage, do not be afraid to, you know, take a step back, let that wear off. It's, as I said earlier, you know, you, you take extra damage, so. If you don't need to be in her face, don't do it. If it's not directly affecting the battle, you know, take your time. Uh, apply constant pressure. This is kind of ties in with staying close, you know, stay in her face. Don't let her have the upper hand. And six, play your character how it's meant to be played. The better you know your character, the more you fight her, you know, it, it's going to get easier overall. But. But if you want to know more about Nabushi and you want me to go through some of the combos and how I change it up, let me know in the description below. Break it down into 
Alrighty, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you got something out of this. If you did, please leave a like, please subscribe. If you did not, leave a like anyways. It really helps the channel. Comment down below. Tell me what you'd like to see. Tell me what I did wrong. And on that note, guys, that is going to be it for the day. Hope you have a great day, and until next time.